Hello, this video is going to be a collaboration with another channel called uh, 1984 Barbecue. The collaboration is called hashtag sous vide a bird. And what we have here is a three pound turkey uh, breast. I took the, the netting off of it because uh, I want to open it up so that I can put a little bit of bacon inside of it. I'm going to season inside now. Um, after that, we're going to put it in a sous vide bag, and then we're going to cook this for about six to eight hours today at 140. So let me get started on this, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to take this knife, and I'm not going to cut all the way through. I'm going to just cut deep enough that I can get a strip of bacon into each one of these little slits that I'm making. Now I do know that when you take this netting off the, the bird will want to fall apart on you because it's actually two pieces of meat but I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. Alright, now I'm just going to take we're going to cut this one to size here. Don't worry, that bacon's not going to waste. So what we're going to do... We're just going to keep going like this and fill in all of the slices that we put in here, the slits. We're going to fill it with the bacon. We'll do one more and then I'll show you what to do with these uh, extra pieces. So what we're doing is taking a perfectly healthy bird, a piece of meat, and filling it with bacon to make it even better. And then I've got nothing. Okay, okay. So let's not waste that. Alright, now I'm going to flip this over. And again, remember, it's going to fall apart a little bit, but we're going to fix that here shortly. We're going to do it again. Not so many slits on this side because it's it's a little harder since the the meat wants to slide around. But again, we're going to stuff this side. And then we'll just put this right here. Now, before, I, before you flip it the first time to this side, you should season it, which I did not do. So let me wash my hands and I will be right back. Okay, so my hand model is gonna season everything up for me. This way I don't have to keep washing my hands, touching these bottles. I'm a big fan of not cross-contaminating my dirty hands to my uh, season containers. And you're just going to season it, to, season it to taste. This one, that, contained, that must have been left outside a, <laughs> a time or two. The outdoor kitchen. Okay. I'm going to put that on when we put the sous vide bag in. Oh. When we put it in a sous vide bag. All right. Thank you, Miss Krista, for the help. You're welcome.
Alrighty. <clears throat> now I kind of messed up a little bit here because this should have been already laid out. Something like so. So more or less, I'm gonna make this my butcher's twine to hold our bird together while it's cooking in a sous vide bag. But the bacon will not get crisp in the sous vide. That's where the after comes in when we sear it. Nothing like a bacon hug, you know? All right, let me get the sous vide bag ready. We'll put uh, the meat in, then we'll put the butter on each side of it. We'll vacuum seal it, and we'll be ready to start cooking. All right, here you see we got the butter on top here, butter on the bottom, our ba uh, butcher's twine made of bacon. And all we're gonna do is set it in the sous vide. Come with me. So this is my homemade retro and she doesn't look like she's gonna float. You gotta be careful they don't float because if, you, if you're if you floating in the sous vide, you're not gonna cook everything through. Now, go to this side. Sorry for the bad lighting and angle right now. So I've got that set all the way down in there. We're gonna set this to, whoa, 140, which is our bottom number here. We're gonna set a time of about Let's do six hours. Whoopsie. Once this gets up to temperature, we will uh, start cooking. And we will come back at the end of this, open it up, we'll take it out. We're gonna um, sear it on the charcoal grill. And uh, yeah, can't wait. All right, sous vide's all done. She's been cooking in this warm bath water all day long. While the wife and I have been out digging trenches and putting in um, sprinkler system in the yard. I got it. All right, so what we're gonna do to transfer this over here, we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna cut a corner to drain some of this juice out. Once we get the majority of the juices out, then we'll uh, put it on this, this rack here and dry it. Wow, oh, that smells pretty good. Not sure why I just cut it the long way like that, but I did. All right. Over, oh. Okay, I will pat it dry and get back with you guys here in a second. We'll take it out to the smoker after it's all pat dry and uh, we're gonna smoke it for a little bit. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, after it's been pat dry, get all the moisture off you can. And you're just going to set it inside the smoker. And we're looking just to sear the outside. And hopefully get uh, the bacon crisp on the outside. So we're going to give this about 15 minutes. She's running really hot right now, about 450. I've never had my smoker that high. That's what happens when you leave the door open. All right. <clears throat> it's been a few minutes. The smoker is hot. Alrighty, look at that. Alright, we're gonna go in and give her a cut. And see what she's what she looks like on in, on the inside. See you guys in a minute. Alright, we've let this uh, rest for about 10 minutes after pulling it out of the smoker. Uh, we do have some. It's not crispy, crispy bacon, but it is. And but then again, I don't like crispy bacon. So it is uh, very tender. Let's cut into this and see. Uh, how we did so we're just gonna ooh, look at this this is the outside piece it should not I can't even look at all the juices in that ooh, that's on the outside 
Hashtag sous vide, a bird. Look at this, perfectly cooked, cooked through. Nothing uh, overdone. Cooked it at 140 all day while we were out doing chores around the yard. Came back to this. I mean, I wish I'd cut that the other way. Look how much juice is in there. Look at that. Whew. All right, I'm gonna make a plate. I'll be back in a minute. All right, here it is, finished product. You can see the bacon that was cooked inside, each little slit. Um, let's go ahead and give this a try. We're gonna go with the, this piece here. You can actually see, back out of the shadow. You can actually see all the moisture in there. But this is what kind of bird we're talking about. This is the outside edge. Okay, <clears throat> so it has the uh, the smoke flavor, the tenderness that we all want, the the moisture, and all the turkey that I've cooked has never been this moist before. Well, I hope you guys like this. It's uh, again, it's a collaboration with John from 1984 Barbecue, and anyone else that wants to do this. Uh, collaboration which is hashtag sous vide a bird and uh it's got to be done by the 30th of this month so please try it it's a challenge by challenge it's not really it's super easy we were doing nothing all day but working on the yard <coughs> while it was cooking in the bath water and we came home or came back out to this and dinner served all right i'm gonna finish my plate and uh, I'll see you guys later.